Hello, I'm Ryan with Buster Beagle 3D. Today I'm going to show you how to use a 3D printed or CNC milled vise that will help you probe the Z as well as the X and Y origins of a part you want to cut on a CNC machine using Gerbil. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is head over to Thingiverse where you can download the STL files and the parts list for the vise. I have also included a step file if you would prefer to mill the vise out on your CNC machine. See the link in the description. The next thing you will need is to take two wires and connect alligator clips to them. I then attach them to a JST female connector or you could use some female jumper wires. These two wires are going to connect to an A5 connection on the controller board. The polarity of the wires won't matter. It will only be used to complete a circuit so they can be plugged in either way. Next I'll add a half inch self-adhesive copper tape to the right side of the vise section that contains the M4 hole on the back of it. I'm using a tape that is conductive on both sides and I cover the front, side, and back all the way covering the hole in the center. Be sure to make this nice and flat, especially in the area where the part to be milled touches the vise. After the copper is on, I make a small hole where the M4 bolt goes and screw that bolt in. Now measure a few distances and write them down for later. You will want to measure the top of the vise from the front to the back and the step down. You could get the step down by measuring the back and the bottom step and then subtracting. Now that we have our measurements, there are two ways that we can use this vise. Both options should give us the same result and work with both the 3D printed or the milled vise. Option number one, non-conductive materials. If your part is non-conductive, measure the Z thickness of the material before you place it in the vise. Then line the front edge with the front profile edge of the vise. Open Universal G-Code Sender platform and connect to the machine. I then click on Windows, Plugins, Probe Module to open the Probe Module window. First I want to click the Settings tab and make sure I have everything set up. My units are in millimeters and my current end mill has a diameter of 3.175. The fast find rate is the speed at which the tool will first try to find the part. I like to slow this down slightly from the default to make sure the machine doesn't hit down on the part too fast. I then slow down the slow measurement rate even further for a precise second touch. 3 millimeters is the distance that the tool will retract after the first touch. I then click on the XYZ tab and here we see the parameters that the tool will use to check the distance to the surface. So it says that the probe will clear the part of the X and Y by 10 millimeters and drop down 8 millimeters to check it. It will go in the order of Z, X, and then Y. You want to make sure that you don't start the probe process with the end mill further than the values you have here or you risk running into the part while calculating. For the X offset, we are going to type in the number that we got from measuring the top of the vise. I'll leave the probe Y offset at zero. If you have a part that sticks out of the front of the vise, you can add that distance as a negative value here. For the touch plate thickness, you take the step height minus the part height and add that as a negative value here. For option one, we are actually going to be checking the tool on the vise itself and not the part to be milled. We manually move the tool to the front corner of the vise making sure we are at least below the values of the probe distances. We then have to reset zero on all axes before we run the tool. Make sure that you have one alligator clip on the back of the vise and one on the tool itself. Then press measure outside corner. It will run the process and return to its start position. You can see the values are now changed. 
If you click return to zero, your tool should now move to the origin of the part to be milled. A quick tip would be to test the connection to the alligator clips before running this process with the tool. I suggest connecting the alligator clip to the vise and holding the other clip in your hand. When you press the measure outside corner button, just touch the alligator clip to the copper on the vise. It will error out and pause the operation, but at least you will know it works. Just unlock the machine, connect it back up, reset zero, and try again for real. Option two, conductive materials. This process should be the exact same as option one, but with one difference. Here we want to move the tool above the part itself and run the process. In the XYZ settings, just change all the probe offsets and plate thickness to zero. Reset your axes and press the measure outside corner button. The process will run and return to where it started. After it finishes, you can check to see if it's correct by clicking the return to zero. Your tool should now be at the origin. Just to troubleshoot if you run the process and it looks incorrect, make sure your tool diameter is correct in the settings tab. You can check and make sure your probe offsets are correct as well. If you enjoyed this, please do hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for more videos, including how to make your own injection molding machine coming out very shortly. Thank you and keep making.